Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week it's all iPad 3. Well, not really iPad 3, but you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's right, this week's big news kind of overshadowed everything. Yeah, the, I mean, like the iPhone 4 of whatever. <laughs> it's just all hyped, and we had, you know, me and him at work. Watching it live, pretty much. Didn't get anything accomplished that day. <laughs> at least for about two hours. <laughs> That's all we did was message each other back and forth. Hey, did you see this? Hey, did you see this? Hey, I beat you to it. <laughs> yeah, iPad, not three. Not even HD that was rumored the day or two before. Not even number. It's yeah. iPad, so apparently this is it. That's it. <laughs> iPad. That's it. Yep. We're I'm, done? Yeah. Pretty much. I, I, I don't know. It, it was kind of weird for them to... And there, oh, there was one reference in the video. I think they were playing a commercial for it, and they said the third generation iPad. And that was it. Yeah. And then as far as the official answer was, it's the iPad... It's the new iPad. Yeah, no, um, no seven-inch version. That yeah, was they, Yeah, I, I really thought seven-inch might be coming around. I even talked about it on my own personal blog. I was like, you know what, seven-inch would be great. You know, yeah, kill out the Amazon Kindle fires. I bought my mom one for Christmas. She loves it, except for the battery. She can't touch electronics really without killing them for some reason. It's weird, but either way. <laughs> Uh, so let, let, we'll get all the news out of the way about the iPad 3. Uh, 4G was the biggest one that everybody was yes. actually right behind the screen size, but we'll say 4G first. It's on AT&T and Verizon, mm -hmm. two of the biggest companies when it comes to cell phone providers, not Metro PCS, not even T-Mobile, or even whatever your uh, local provider is. Not even Sprint, for that matter. No WiMAX for it, so. Yeah, that was... The thing that sucks, though, is... Uh, you international people, European, uh, Chinese, the rest of the world, your 4G ain't going to work for us. Mm -mm. It's only in North America right now. So kind of sucks. Canada gets it too. Even Canada. I think it's Rogers Wireless is what's yeah, up Yeah, Rogers. There. We yeah. have friends in Canada. Eh. <laughs> we had friends in Canada. <laughs> but yeah, so 4G speeds, and it's going to be actual 4G LTE. Yes, not HSPA plus one. <laughs> they showed. They showed the. Uh, we we found the chart. I'll be right here. They showed the chart. <laughs> yeah. Four G. <laughs> On up there. Yeah. It's actual LTE through AT and T Verizon for Nashville. Uh, it doesn't matter because nope. Nashville does not have it. So that kind of sucks. But either way, whatever. Four G if you want it. How much is it though? A little it's over. Cost you. Yeah. It's crazy. It actually, I think the actual price just went up a little bit over than the previous one as far as the 3G plus Wi-Fi. I think they were, uh, no, actually 629, 729, 829. I yeah. think those were the same prices as before. 629. That's a lot of money. I used to work at a store, for store speed. number 629. That doesn't really <laughs> count for anything right now, though. No. Uh, but anyway, it's still the same price as 499, 599, and 699 for the regular Wi-Fi iPad at its 16, 32, and 64. Uh, also, the rumor about the 128, mm -hmm. 128 did not happen. I was nope. really hoping that it would because you have such a large arena of space for the screen. You also have such a large arena of space for memory. Yeah, they could have really just in there. opened all this up. Yeah, seriously. And I really wish this whole black edge thing would just like go out to the edge. I really oh, do. Oh, and? The home button? Yeah, the home button rumor. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, it's, yeah, no. So, but the other thing was the screen. Uh, we hit two, 2048 by 1536 on the resolution. And uh, that's double basically what you have right now. <laughs> yeah. And according to Apple, that's better than your HDTV. Yeah. And even according to them, it was better than the screen that they were showing their presentation on. Yeah, 3.01 3.1 million, million pixels. pixels. Four times what the iPad 2 had. So, pixels... What I've read so far from Gadget and Engadget and Ars Technica and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. they said the screen is amazing. Well, I mean, when they finally reopened the Apple Store after after the announcement, I mean, even just the photo of seeing it on my work monitor, which is basically one of the jobs, <laughs> still it looked amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, 
it's one of those things. I, I still have no real need. It's a nice uh, on the side thing. Yeah. You know, would I go out and pay the four nine nine for you know? No. The good thing though is if you do want to get into the iPad market, iPad two has now been dropped down to three hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's right, three hundred and ninety nine dollars. So if you want to get into the iPad market, it's a lot easier to get in now. Yeah, but a hundred dollars more, you can get the iPad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm right there with you. You know, if if I could, I, I probably would. I just it's still a nicety to see it, I guess, and not so much to use it because I'm still a laptop user, yeah. I guess. So that's the thing. So a MacBook Air for me might be nice, or the new Dell XPS 13, which if you haven't seen that one for you PC lovers out there. That's basically the Dell clone of the MacBook Air. It is a beautiful, skinny, tiny little piece of equipment. Yeah, and that, no Mac news. Yeah, there was no Mac news. No hardware updates. The only thing we got was a software update for iOS. It was nothing but, except for, we did hear about the Apple TV. Mm -hmm. The Apple TV, pretty much the little puck that you got that you you know plug in, it works. Still does the same thing. The yeah. only thing they did, added a 1080p processor, I guess. And I think they put the A5 in there now, where it had the A4 before. Yeah. So I think it does dual core now for that 1080p, so it doesn't struggle with the 1080p video. Um, and then allowing for uh, movies as well. The other thing was that was kind of off to the side, but it was still something notable. iTunes now movies yeah. in the iCloud for, I guess, iTunes Match, I think, is the way how they Hopefully. worded that. Yeah. They haven't said anything about the price, the $24.99 that you pay for iTunes Match for music. If it's the same for movies, I haven't heard any news on that. But that would be great because now all my Blu-rays that come with free, you know, copies of movies, I can stream them, which is great. So I think that's going to be, you know, awesome. I don't have to download them anymore. I can just freaking <laughs> stream them, you know, straight to my TV. And it's still the same price, 100 bucks. So I definitely, I'd, I tried to order one yesterday, but get this. Funny story. I went shopping early Tuesday morning while I was at work and I use a website called deal called deals plus yes. deals pl dot us great website they link you to a lot of other websites they're, they're not the actual proprietor of that thing so they take you like a new egg and deal news and exactly they like take that. to the other sites that actually do the sales I was looking around mm -hmm. I saw a six pack of iPod cables for like five six bucks Cool. So just the uh, the data, the just data just the cable. I was like, I don't really need them, but it's always nice to have them laying yeah, around because you, you know? always lose one. Exactly. So I was like, yeah, it's nice. Then I saw free, free Apple iPod cable, just one. All right, cool. I like this idea. I've got other free stuff from Deals Plus. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, I'll sign up for it. I go to it. Mm -hmm. It's one of those daily websites. Oh yeah. It looks very. You know, it's there. The address had a lot of numbers in it. <laughs> no S after I, the HTTP. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Yeah, so I click. Securities degree. Yeah, I know. This is the bad part. I click on the stupid thing. And it says it wants your information, address, blah, blah, blah. Normal. Yeah. And it asked for credit card. And I was like, I didn't even think. Without thinking, I just <laughs> type in my credit card number. As soon as the order processes, processes, uh, bloop. hey, by the way, if you'd love to buy a Jawbone 2 with the Air Assassin Whisper Sync or whatever, I don't even know what it is, but Jawbone 2 for 20 bucks, we'll throw it on top of your order for $20. Click. Sign me here. Click. They don't even ask for your credit card number again because they've already got it. Process oh, yeah. it through. Sure enough, my neighbor across the cubicle looks at me. He goes, um, did you read the first comment on the Deals Plus website? No, I did not. It said use a fake credit card. And I said, why? He goes, why would you give your credit card away for something that's free? Ah, crap. Let me go back to the page. Let me go verify that this isn't crap. So I go back to the page. And they have YouTube, Twitter, you know, the, so the normal social links. Yep. YouTube. Nothing there. Not looking good. Facebook. They joined like two days before. Oh. It's a new company. Twitter. 
click, there's that orange little icon that everybody gets when you sign up and you don't have your initial thing, and they had just joined just days previous. Zero tweets except for the one about the free Apple iPod cable. Yeah, I, I, I guess I got in a, a clicking frenzy because I bought a couple other things. I bought like a, a $5 router that was a wireless G router that was refurbished for my mother because she needs a new one. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought uh, a $20 32 gig SD card, not too bad, got it from Newegg. Uh, and I think I got a micro SD for $16. That was, uh, or maybe twenty-two dollars, but sixteen gigs at micro SD yeah. from Amazon, and I was just clicking away, and I think I just got into that deals, you know, craze that those stupid couponer women get into, and I don't mean you women are stupid, but <laughs> couponers, I have a whole new you send all complaints <laughs> to. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that was that was uh, that was a fun story. And had to get a new uh, bank card. So for the last few days. Oh, so you had to like you went to the bank and told them. Hey, oh yeah. I'm an idiot. Pretty much. Give me a new card. I pretty much called her. I, I I literally was on the phone and was like, Yeah, you know those people that buy things through shady websites, and then have to cancel their card. Yeah, that's me. Uh, can you cancel my card and get me a new one? Five to seven business days. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Just do it right now. Thanks. Click. Yeah, I was harped on all day, especially with the guy who has a security degree. So yeah, I took it. But either way, uh, moving on back to news, other things other than iPad, um, Netflix wanted to throw in a little bit this week. Netflix said, not only were we going to join in on the Apple you know, bandwagon, or they are going to join in on yeah. the bandwagon, they're going to throw in their 1080p streaming through the Apple TV. Which is great. Yeah, that is good. So the other, my other question is because this can technically hold 1080p, not this particular one, but iPad, the new iPad, when it comes out, can hold it. I'm wondering if will it stream 1080p to it, and you can technically have you know full HD as it were on your iPad. So yeah. I think that would be great. I think it would be awesome. The other thing is Netflix is looking to get into the cable, I guess wars. Joining in with Comcast and Charter, I guess? Yeah, it's kind of like, um, well, if you can't beat them, join them, or sleeping with the enemy kind of thing. Yeah. Because what, what, what about this, uh, what was it called? Stream Picks? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Quick Picks? Quick Picks. Quick Picks. No, not Quick Picks. Stream was, Picks. Uh, no, Stream Picks was the other one. That was from Comcast. It was Quickster. No, Quickster. Not, no, not Quickster. That's what I'm talking about. Stream Picks. You are talking about Stream Picks. I saw one commercial for it. You saw a commercial for Stream Picks already? Yeah, just uh, like it was mentioned vaguely. Right. Just really fast. So I think maybe that scared, I mean, Comcast may have just put that out there to scare Netflix to come in, into the fold. Okay. As it were. Yeah, I can see. And, and Netflix having made some mistakes. <laughs> some big ones last year. 2011 was not doing good. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, they were talking to Reed Hastings, and he even said Netflix isn't for cable cutters, it's for people who enjoy video. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. It, uh, people who are not cable... Co I don't have cable. Specifically because I have Netflix exactly. and Hulu. But I'm a cord cutter, cable cutter, whatever. What? How can that not be for not... not I, I don't know. I guess... I'm sure his lawyers told him to say that. <laughs> I mean, if Comcast goes into an acquisition of Netflix... Done. The other, you know it's just... A bad road from there. You speaking of other red companies, you know that uh, Redbox is looking to join up with Verizon to have some sort of streaming service. Mm -mm, yeah, they're that. looking to buy out Redbox to compete with, I guess, Blockbuster streaming service, Netflix streaming service, Hulu streaming service. So <laughs> Blockbuster, <laughs> Dish Network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna die soon. So either way, I I just I just don't see it happening. I I really don't. Uh, I. I don't know. There's so many streaming services. It is nice to have a choice, though. Yeah. Hulu, Netflix, uh, CBS.com, Fox.com, you know, your major networks that are streaming it for you free, except for CBS, who can't seem to get Two Broke Girls, and, I, and I'm pretty sure there's other shows as well, but Two Broke Girls, really? I can't get an episode up on the website anymore? Are you serious? Big Bang Theory? Where do I get Big Bang Theory? The Pirate Bay. Well, maybe not the Pirate Bay, but other sources. 
The Pirate Bay, you say? Oh, yes. So, today, he decided to harp on me because his stupid dinosaur show got canceled. <laughs> My stupid dinosaur show, Terra Nova. Yes. <laughs> and now it's going to be available on Netflix. Yes. So, I made a, a comment. It wasn't that rude. But he came back to me and said, Well, I watch TV. I don't download TV. <laughs> Well, <laughs> is that something pot calling the kettle black? I, I I do. If I can't find it on the major network site, if I can't find it on Netflix, if I can't find it on Hulu, guess what? Just keep digging, Rusty. Just exactly. <laughs> I look. If you can't get it to me legally, I'll find other ways to get the show that I want to watch. Even if for those stupid. That's why that Sudan Prince now has your credit card. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I'm surprised I've been getting phone calls from, uh, anyway, India or wherever they took my card to. Uh, but <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for this week. Do we want to hit anything else while we're thinking about it? No. We're just still digging that hole. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Excuse the mess. We were evicted from our last studio. I wouldn't say evicted. We, we chose to come here. We're just trying to find a different space, so this may not be the permanent space. Because I have a new desk that's going to be behind us, hopefully soon. And uh, I don't want it to be in the way. And this is portable-ish, kind of. It took me about 45 minutes to set it up. But it is movable, so we'll, we'll make this work as it were. We will find another home somewhere. Keep uh, Do us a favor, though. Uh, Alan's actually been on my other show, Beards and BS. Uh, since we're the family style on this show. Um, come over there and listen to him. I think you were on episode 5, I believe it was. Is that right? I have no clue. It doesn't matter. But either way, check us out. It's a little bit more of the banter, like what we just did right there. Uh, a little less family-oriented. Yeah, it's a little more blue. Yeah. Uh, check us out, beardsandbs.com. Uh, and it's not BS. It's obviously the word. Uh, but look it up. Alan's on there, and we're actually going to have him on a few more times just for fun's sake. But uh, like us over there. Make sure also spread the word about Tex Nation TV. We're kind of low in the numbers. I mean, yeah. We've got an average of 30 to 40 viewers we a week. Have one episode that has 2,000 views. And then the rest of them are somewhere under 100. <laughs> so if you like this show, seriously, spread it around. Share it with your friends. You know, Tell us what you think. Leave more comments. We get one commenter, G uh, commenter yeah. Jihave, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you so much for watching this show every single week and always commenting. We Anything you want to hear about, you let us know. Exactly. Cool. And one of these days, we're going to have a t-shirt. I swear, it's going to have the logo up here. We will get to it. It'll be a collared shirt, a golf shirt, something. We'll have something. We'll put it together. we got to draw it with a marker. <laughs> but make sure to follow us online. We've got four different places you can follow us. TextNation.tv. Twitter.com slash TV, Facebook.com slash TV, and TV. Which, what he actually meant to say there was YouTube. Yeah. Yes. YouTube.com slash TexNation TV. And probably we'll have a Pinterest because you got to have one of those, apparently. Have you heard they are getting more um, visits than Twitter, Tumblr, um... Ranking behind Facebook, I'm assuming? Oh, yes, of course. Wow. They're, they're beating Twitter. Jeez. You women out there, here's the thing. It's time for a pintervention. <laughs> First of all, you can have it. I went to that website. I haven't even been to it yet. It's... I, I guess only a, a, a woman can understand it because it's... It's, it's just like a cork board. Photo. Comment. Photo, comment, photo, comment. Except in Facebook, it's in order. Right. It's just photo, 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 photo. Oh, photo. so it's kind of almost like a uh, mixing board of photos and stuff. Well, it's from the name of pin, pin board. It's like a pin board. Oh, okay. So they pin their photos and leave those comments. Hey, you know, I like those shoes. Where'd you get them? Blah, 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 blah. Which advertisers, you better get in on that. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get those shoes? Pinterest, I can tell you where you got those shoes. Pinterest is coming up out of nowhere. Gary V from, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk from Wine Library TV actually talked about that. Yeah. Pinterest is coming up out of nowhere. December for, 2009 is when they just, when they started. And, of course, Palo Alto. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I, I mean, a lot of our friends, ladies, husbands, and our wives of husbands, mm -hmm. girlfriends, other friends, 
It's invading Facebook. Yes. Guess where it doesn't belong? On Facebook. It belongs over there. I haven't even been to the site, but oh my God, everybody is sharing their stuff. Of course, I can't say much. I take all my Twitter stuff and post it on Facebook. Yeah, but so. your Twitter doesn't come with a poster. True, true. But Wait, just useless. Anyway, Gosh. also... The, kitten, the kittens are funny. <laughs> anyway, follow us also. Google Plus, you can search for us. Text Nation TV, all one word. It's still, yeah, it's, it's still that long. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's... <laughs> Until Google can fix the plus.google slash TV, which if you're watching, you should, because it makes it a whole lot easier for sharing. And I don't have to go to Bitly and create a pro account and create bitly.com slash Google Plus, whatever. I'm sure they get a kickback from Bitly. Yeah, whatever. We'll see you again for episode number 32. Thanks for watching. Download us on your Xbox now. Make sure, because we're on Xbox. Yes. We can stream. And we've been on PlayStation for a little while, so we're not on iTunes, but we don't really care for them. Yet. <laughs> but YouTube. Yes. You can take us anywhere. Exactly. iPhone. Blackberry, if it's still alive. iPod Touch. Nokia. Uh, Nokia. I don't. Oh, my goodness. Even one of these. <laughs> we'll see you again for episode 31. 32. Whatever it is. I don't even know anymore. All right, so introduce a new segment we're going to start doing. It's called the Text Nation Text Minute. It's a lot to spit out, but it's going to be somewhere between 45 to 60 seconds of our thoughts of whatever that topic was. Because we know you, like us, have short attention spans. Exactly. So if you just want to catch the whole episode in 60 seconds, this is what you're going to watch. So here's the first one. iPad 3? No. iPad HD? Off the board. Just iPad. That's right, just iPad, but now 4G. Yeah, 4G that's actual 4G this time around. LTE, not HP, H, H, whatever that one is, plus yes. 3G. So, Also, a million more pixels than the iPad 2. Almost four times with 24 by 20, 20, 48 by 15, 36. Amazing, I haven't seen it yet. What do you know? <laughs> I, uh, I've only seen pictures. Speaking of pictures, though, 5 megapixel camera. Not the 8 that the iPhone 4S had, but still better than what I got here. Hey, yeah. That one there, A4 processor, I believe, with a specialized whatever. Yes. This one actually has the A5X, which is dual-core processing, but with quad-core graphics processing. Yes, and open your wallet. It's not cheap to get this. So if you want to get 4G, 629, 729, 829. And that's been your Text Nation Text Minute. I can't believe it. I ate <laughs> And that was the Texation text Go <laughs> buy Not Verizon, you can buy them anywhere. And Verizon has the best wireless network right now. Yeah, they have the top ah wireless network. <laughs> Shut up, Alan. <laughs> I thought you were going to order. You go to left field. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Exactly, I'm going to give you some more letters and numbers. 5 megapixel camera like in the uh, iPhone 4S. And correct! iPhone 4S has an 8 megapixel camera. Yes. <laughs> That's what it says right there! <laughs> Not 8 megapixel like iPhone. I saw 4S. <laughs> I scanned. I didn't read. All right. <laughs> That's what that's for. Six minutes. <laughs> iPad 3? No. iPad HD? It's the new iPad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you were already there. You <laughs> iPad 3? No. iPad HD? Off the board. Just the new iPad. Just iPad, not a, a seven incher or a eight megapixel i or eight megapixel. Eight You're meg so good. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Oh, that living. I, there's a reason why the thing's out there. You gotta stop. 
4G, well, actually it is 4G this time around. LTE on the LTE networks of AT&T and Verizon. Sprint, screw you. T-Mobile, screw you. Metro <laughs> PCS, screw you. All those other clear wire or whatever, screw you. Yes. But if you have an iPad 2, well, let's get ready to throw it in the garbage. Because the new iPad, iPad only has uh, a million more megapixels, or megapixels. <laughs> we'll get to the megapixels. It's got a five megapixel camera. I can't.